What's up guys, it's Turbo Veltric here back with another video. In today's video, I'm going to be doing my review on Beyblade Burst Rise Episode 12 titled Spin, Advance, Survive. So before we start this video, I'm just going to say this video will have spoilers on the episode, but if you guys have not seen the episode yet, I will leave a Google Drive link in the description below to where you can watch the episode. So yeah, like always, One Rise episode covers two gotcha episodes, so this is covering episodes at 23 and 24 of Beyblade Burst Gotcha. So yeah, let's begin with the analysis. So like always, the episode starts off with the welcome to the world of Beyblade scene, and then the episode continues from the previous episode where Dante and Blint were battling in the first round of the Battle Island tournament and Blint is in the lead with one point. So anyways, Dante is nervous because he does not know how to defeat Balkesh and Taka looks to see if Balkesh has any weaknesses and does not. So anyways, Dante has a dragon moment and dragon says to defeat Blint, he must find his own way and Dante decides to go with Ace Dragon and dragon tells Dante to concentrate and so he does and he gets pumped up. So anyways, after that we get into the opening and title card and after that we get into the battle. It's Dante and Ace Dragon versus Blint and Dusk Balkesh, and this is the second round. So anyways, once we get into the battle, Balkesh takes the center, and Dante and Dragon get into Dragon Launch. So anyways, Dragon starts attacking Balkesh, and the locks on Balkesh are starting to move. So anyways, Dragon knocks Balkesh away, and then Blint and Balkesh get into Dusk Circle, and Dragon continues to attack Balkesh, but is parrying all of Dragon's attacks. So anyways, Blint heats up, and we get into Balkesh's avatar, and Dragon is still unable to hurt Balkesh. So Dragon tells Dante to aim for the center, and then Dante heats up and we get into Dragon's avatar, and then Dragon activates Hyperflux. And then Dragon hits Balkesh in the center, and Balkesh burst so dante advances to the next round and then Iger starts getting pumped up and starts resonating with achilles and then dante starts resonating with dragon and says that he will make a dragon the best and blint is confused and he's annoyed at the same time anyways it was revealed that delta bursted his opponents in five seconds and will advance to the second round and it was also revealed that armin and fumia will also advance to the second round anyways round two of the battle island tournament begins and everyone launches their dice machine and armin rolls another six meaning he goes to stage 12 and then dante rolls at Two, meaning he goes to stage three. So anyways, everyone goes to their stages and Dante is at stage three alone. And then Delta and Fumia are battling at stage seven. So anyways, Fumia pulls out Fafnir and says that he has a trick. And then Dante arrives at stage seven to watch the battle. Anyways, Fumia wants to show Ichigo that he's number one and the best blader around. And then Delta starts resonating with Devlos and he knows Fumia's trick. So now we get into the battle, Delta and Venom Devlos versus Fumia and Wizard Fafnir. And Fumia, he light launches Fafnir and Fafnir does not have much stamina, but yet again, Fumia light launched it. So anyways, Devlos hits Fafnir and its speed increases because Fafnir absorbed some of Devlos' spin. So anyways, Dante discovers that Fumia is trying to pull off a slow motion burst and Devlos clashes into Fafnir and Devlos is knocked away. So anyways, Devlos hits the stadium wall and splits into two and Fumia thinks that it was a burst until Delta says dual phantom. Anyways, Devlos' bullet tip starts clashing into Fafnir making its speed increase because it's absorbing its spin and then Delta and Devlos get the clone impact which was originally called bull impact. So anyways, Devlos clashes into its clone causing Fafnir Fafnir to burst and Delta wins and advances to round three. And then Fafnir falls into the water because that stage seven was a water focused course. So anyways, Fumia starts getting nervous because he can't find Fafnir. And then Fumia looks into the water and then his glasses fall off his face. And then Fumia is upset because he thinks he lost Fafnir. So anyways, after that, we get into a flashback to when Fumia and Ichigo were young and they were watching what looks to be a Beyblade tournament on TV. And Ichigo was excited about a blader. And it was revealed that this blader was Free de La Hoya and his guys to Fafnir. So anyways, it is revealed that Free and Guys Fafnir inspired Fumia to make his wizard Fafnir to impress Ichika, and then Fumia he snaps out of his flashback, and Ichika found wizard Fafnir's energy layer, and then Dante and Armin found the ratchet disc and the rise tip. Anyways, Fumia starts getting emotional, but then he gets mad for the victories getting wizard Fafnir, and in part 1 of the episode ends, which was episode 23 of Gachi, now we get into part 2, which was episode 24 of Gachi. So anyways, round 3 of the Battle Island tournament begins, and there are 7 bladers left, and if Armin rolls another six he gets to battle Iger. so anyways everyone launches their dice machine and armin rolls a one and then he gets mad about it and then dante rolls a five so anyways dante arrives at stage eight and he climbs up the volcano but no one was there to battle so anyways delta and pang will battle at stage 12 and armin will battle three other bladers at stage 13 so anyways dante discovers pang is battling delta and he goes to watch but he ends up tripping on the way down and then he ends up running down the volcano so anyways pang he reveals to delta that he ends 
entered the tournament because he is now striving to get Hyperflux, and then Dante arrives at stage 12 to watch the battle, and then Pang offers Delta a handshake, hoping for a good battle, but Delta ends up removing Pang's hand, but yet again, it was one of Pang's tricks. So anyways, Delta pulls out Venom Devlos, and Pang looks at Delta's chi, but sees darkness, and Pang thought Delta's darkness was about to consume him. So anyways, now we get into the battle, Pang and Harmony Pegasus versus Delta and Venom Devlos, and then once we get into the battle, Pegasus takes the center, and Devlos starts attacking Pegasus. And after several hits, the wings on the Harmony base release, and Devlos goes to hit Pegasus, and then Pang and Pegasus get into reverse heal, and then Pegasus is knocked away, and Pegasus' locks revert back to normal. Anyways, Pang and Pegasus get into Harmony Thunder, and Devlos is knocked out of the stadium, so Pang takes the first point. So anyways, Delta has a Devlos moment, and tells Devlos how Pegasus was great prey, and how Devlos wants to save her Pegasus before devouring it. So anyways, Delta's eyes start to glow, and Iger notices something was up with Delta. So anyways, in this round, Delta goes with Erase Devlos, so now we get back into the battle, which is now Pang and Harmony Pegasus versus Delta and Erase Devlos. So once we get into the battle, Delta and Devlos immediately go for Dual Phantom, and Devlos splits in two. Anyways, Pegasus takes the center, and then Delta and Devlos get in the clone attack. So anyways, Devlos' bullet tip starts attacking Pegasus, and then the wings on the Harmony base release. So anyways, Pang and Pegasus get in a reverse heal, and Devlos clashes into Pegasus, causing Pegasus' locks to go back to normal, and then Delta and Devlos get in the clone cannon. So anyways, Devlos hits its bullet tip, and then the bullet tip hits Pegasus, and Pegasus' locks move, and then Pang and Pegasus get in reverse heal, and Devlos keeps moving the locks on Pegasus and reverting them back to normal, and then both Pegasus and Devlos clash, and Delta starts to have a dark look to where it looks like his eye is on fire, and he starts smiling, and Delta heats up and again to Devlos' avatar, and then Peng he heats up and again to Pegasus' avatar, and then Peng and Pegasus get into reverse heal, and Delta and Devlos get into Shining Crux, and then Devlos and its bullet tip clash into Pegasus, and then Pegasus is sent flying, and Pegasus bursts. So Delta wins and moves on to the next round, and Pang was defeated for the first time. So anyways, Iger is concerned about Delta's darkness, and then Delta has that dark look again with the Devlos avatar in the background, and the episode ends. So anyways, Spin Advanced Survive was a good episode, and I did enjoy it, and the battles in this episode were also good, but I kind of liked Dante vs. Blimp more, because the animation was kind of a lot better than the other battles in this episode. And I was really happy that we got to see a flashback with Free and Fafnir, because if we can't get a physical appearance of Free and Fafnir, at least we got a flashback with them. And I was also glad to see more of Iger, Pang, and Blint. And it was also cool that we got to see Fumia attempt a slow motion burst, but sadly it failed. So the next episode I will be reviewing is episode 13, the final stage facing Iger, where the title matches against Iger will begin. But the thing is, TVNZ is not airing the episode this Friday. Instead, it looks like they're going on their hiatus because the season is almost to the halfway point. So they're going to go ahead on their hiatus. And the closest airing we have for episode 13 is April 25th here in America on Disney XD. But still, I will upload that into the review. So anyways, yeah. So what do you guys think about this episode? Did you guys like it? Did you guys not like it? Tell me in the comments below. I'd like to hear what you guys think. And yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys did enjoy, please leave a like. Please subscribe. Please follow me on social media. The links will be in the description below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. See you guys later.